Once you have the paper on there, you might have other options you would like instead. So what you want to do is again, click on the clapperboard, the resources come open at the bottom, and click on the arrow to bring open the resource locations. So what kind of resources do we want now? I'm going to close the backgrounds. I'm going to go to activities and templates. And notice under activities, there's a whole bunch of different options. So one of them is a 100 grid. Go ahead and click on that. Where these show up is down here at the bottom. So again, you can just drag the resources directly onto the page. I'll do a new page, drag, new page, drag, and I have the I resources right there. I'm going to close out of my resource locations. You'll notice what this now lets me do is color, just bring the squares over. I'm able to use this resource. Down here at the bottom it has a reset, so it's really nice that this is all set and ready to go for you to use. If you want another activity, again, come down to the resources, click on the arrow, and then what other choices do you have? There's coloring pages, great way to help kids learn their colors. You have unlimited colors in the pen tray, so that's really nice. But look at all these math activities. I'm going to create a blank page, and I can just drag different math activities. Drag. So look at this math activity. It has these blocks for counting. And students can just come up and drag and put it on the page. So these are really handy and they're just ready to go down here in the resources. So if I click on pen, I can actually draw right on it. And down at the bottom it now has the pen tray. If you want to get back to the resources, click on the clapperboard, go to the options, and then you can explore and see what kind of activities and templates are available for you to use.